Welcome to Art Forms, where creativity comes alive. Today, we're going to learn about the color wheel. After watching lesson three, you know mixing a primary color evenly with a secondary color, you can create a tertiary color. Let's say them together. Red, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, green, blue, green, blue, violet, red, violet. Did you know that a color wheel contains primary, secondary, and tertiary colors? Wait, before we go any further, what is a color wheel? A color wheel is a circle with different colored sectors used to show the relationship between colors. Primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Secondary colors, green, orange, and purple. And what we learned from our last lesson, tertiary colors. The grouping of these colors help artists understand the variations in the cycle of colors. You may be wondering how to create a color wheel. Grab your pencil and paper and let's get started. First, draw a sizable circle centered on the page. Using a ruler, section your circle into 12 parts. Now, you can design the body around the color wheel. Fill in your color wheel in the proper order so that the relationship between each color is properly represented. Be creative and continue designing and coloring in your background. How do you feel about your artwork? I always say, it's okay if it doesn't look exactly the way you want it. Always be proud of your artwork and practice, practice, practice to see improvement. Remember, a color wheel is a circle with different color sectors used to show the relationship between colors. Join me next time to learn about analogous colors. If I know, then you know, and we can grow together. See you next time, art formers.